Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 80 Summer for 4. So today, guys, I want to talk to you guys about Cody Gakpo to Liverpool FC. Once again, guys, Liverpool have got another player off from Manchester United. Once again, Manchester United are in the mud because, you know, for a lot of weeks leading up before the transfer, there was a lot of hype that he would join Manchester United, you know, because, you know, the Eric Ton Ha connection, you know, Eredivisie and all that good stuff. And I think it just shows how just because there's a lot of rumors about it on Twitter doesn't necessarily mean it's going to happen. And like I said, guys, when it comes to transfers in particular, the only person I really trust 100% is Fabrizio Romano. The other reporters I trust, not that same degree, though. And Fabrizio Romano always comes in clutch with these transfer news. And once he says, here we go, it's official. It's official, you know. And once again, guys, Liverpool have made another signing kind of under the radar. This wasn't even, like, mentioned. Like, there was a lot of rumors of him going to United. You know, that was pretty much the only club um, the rumors were really suggesting him to. And the fact that Liverpool, once again, made another signing... And it's a cheap signing too, you know, thirty-seven million that potentially to fifty million in packages is incredible. Because I'm looking at the Liverpool front three this season, and if we're being honest here, Salah is really the only one that's been scoring goals for them on a regular, consistent basis. The other players in the front three haven't been able to lift up to that standard. Now, I'm not saying they're bad players; they're just not really great in terms of goal scoring. Because I still think Luis Diaz is a great player. I just his goal scoring is just not really there. Um, Jota. He is a great um, goal scorer. I think his goal scoring this season has not really been as great as it was in previous seasons. And obviously for me, no, I don't think the guy is that good anymore. I think Liverpool have to move on from him. Um, him. And then obviously Darwin Nunez, like the guy is just, <laughs> oh my, the guy is just not a, that great, if we're being honest. So I think for Liverpool, man, what they need to do is to get um, make sure that he can be developed in the right environment. I want to see what Jurgen Klopp can do with this kind of player, can make him um, the beast that he was at PSV, because let's be real, guys, he was fantastic for PSV this season in the Europa League and the Eredivisie. And obviously, he was also really great in the World Cup, too. You know, probably one of the Netherlands' best players as well, um, and so forth. So, I want to kind of discuss how this affects PSV, um, because I feel like I've discussed enough about Liverpool. Um, I think for PSV, it's a big loss. It's a big, big loss. I think this is definitely going to affect their charge in the title race. Uh, this definitely gives Ajax the advantage, and so forth. And as far as the Europa League ambitions, I actually had them as one of my dark horses, I believe. And with the loss of Cody Gakpo, it's really hard for me to see them go as far. Who knows? Though? They could do well without him. It's just that it's going to be very difficult. It's going to be very, very difficult to see. I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you think this is a big loss for PSV? Because I certainly think he, it is. Because it's a big loss. It's one of their best players. And um, I think this is going to be something that's going to be interesting to see what PSV do. So... Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Like I said, if you're new out here, consider hitting that like button, hit that subscribe button, and comment down below. How do you think Gakpo will do at Liverpool? And also comment down below. Do you think this is a great transfer? So hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure you guys smash the like button, hit the subscribe button while you're at it. Comment down below your thoughts in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.